Welcome to Trending AI News. Today's top news picks are that an artificial intelligence takes on the earthquake prediction. Indian Army wants AI in a big way to boost the combat lethality. And the, the third one is an opinion piece which I feel that it's uh, interesting, a very short comment, but artificial intelligence is just a clever marketing. So it is related to an effort which is which is being done by the geophysicist Mr. Paul Johnson. What he is doing is he is using the state of the art AI algorithms to predict the next to create a robust system to predict earthquakes. So they kind of used a pattern finding algorithms uh, similar to those behind recent advance, advances in the image and speech recognition and other form of artificial intelligence. So we all know that uh, related to earthquake predictions, the scientists have already struggled a lot with the exact earthquake prediction but uh, this is a new take by using the machine learning and AI deep learning and uh, um, different uh, algorithms to to solve a, a very old problem. So uh, it it is based on a, an assumption that uh, the earthquakes are the physical processes, no different in that respect from the collapse of a dying star or the shifting of the winds. And he stresses that his prime aim is to better understand the fault physics. They try to create a basic model that would give them a positive result. To continue forward with this ambitious experiment so it's still uh, not uh, uh, it's it's just a beginning and uh, many geophysicists are cautious about this thing because there's a lot of randomness involved when it comes to earthquake and we uh, the uh, even the by the best estimate we can only give it the degree of probability within the range so according to the researchers working on this this project a computer trained on thousand of those small tumblers tumblers are just the small earthquakes uh, might be versatile enough to predict the big ones and machine learning algorithms might also be able to train on computer simulations of fast earthquakes that could one day serve as the proxies of the real data uh, to sum it up, like he, Mr. Johnson, quoting him that I'm not saying we are going to predict the earthquakes in my lifetime, but we are going to make a whole lot of a progress. So, in in a latest, the Indian Army really wants to use AI in a big way, and it is kind of a natural that the rival China is already making a huge strides in the ongoing global race. In fact, the China and US are the only major countries who are uh, practically the leaders in the field of artificial intelligence and china is exclusively using ai as a big boost uh, to their economy to to create a set of systems that kind of they are making special focus to develop lethal autonomous weapons and uh, india is far behind in that, in that sense so there is an upcoming seminar which is being held by the southern western command and and the indian government has uh, formulated a roadmap to make india a significant significant power in the use of ai in the military domain and uh, uh, defense minister rajanath singh has already announced uh, is going to announce 25 defense specific ai products uh, that will be developed by the 2024 and uh, to quote uh, General uh, Lieutenant General Clare is that it's not possible for human brains, even if many are clubbed together to collate and synthesize feeds and inputs from uh, multiple sources like radars, drones, satellites in real time. The, the aim is to reach the right decision at the right time with the help of AI and this technological edge over the adversary can give a huge payoff. And the third one is a very interesting opinion piece by Dale Walker of itpro.co.uk. 
he is outlining the real problem that is going with the senseless marketing related to ai centric products what's happening is that ai has become so loose that uh, any company that includes ai it becomes a good marketing gimmick but which is far from the reality even if a company which is not using the uh, very uh, uh, which is not even related to artificial intelligence they have started including this word into their product into their day to day uh, media releases and so the author has compared it to handmade products which was made popular in the last century anything that is handmade people would blindly consider it as a a good thing with rather than checking the veracity of the product when you are including ai you have to be responsible enough to uh, disclose it how you are using it in your products rather than claiming it to be to uh make yourself look good at the cost of the quality and it it's uh, the artificial intelligence in a nutshell is becoming a marketing nightmare for for the customers or consumers because every company has started including this into their brand and people are not questioning to put it differently not every company or every startup or every organization is an ai centric organization they might be using a mediocre product and if they put ai into their brand then it it is a purely false and fabricated marketing and in the longer run it is really it will have a very adverse effects so thank you for watching and stay tuned with trending ai news to be updated with the latest happening related to artificial intelligence and do subscribe because this is a beginners youtube chan channel and uh, uh, if you believe these kind of contents are really relatable and helpful to you so just consider uh, helping it out by doing that so thank you and i will see you tomorrow